Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed my channel yet. Now I am going to solve this particular problem. So in this problem it is said that when the crank AB is vertical, so this is that crank AB. So it is said that when this crank AB is vertical, the beam CD is horizontal, right? So this beam CD is horizontal and the cable makes a 20 degree angle. So this cable makes 20 degree angle here with the horizontal, right? So it is said that compute the moment m required for equilibrium of the frame. So we have to find this moment m uh, which is required to keep this frame in the equilibrium. Now what we will do is that we will consider each member one by one and we will uh, analyze them for equilibrium right and we will find all the forces right. So first what I will do is that I will consider this pulley for equilibrium. So if I draw the free body diagram of this pulley. So we will have this pulley right and here. Uh, we will have that weight right that tension in the cable will be equal to the weight right and this weight is equal to 100 times uh, this weight will be equal to 100 into 9.81 so this will be equal to 981 newtons right so we will have this uh, 981 newton tension in this cable and similarly uh, we will have that same tension here since the cable is continuous right so here uh, in this cable we will have that same 981 newton tension and if this cable is making 20 degree here with the horizontal so this cable will also be making 20 degree here with the horizontal right so we will have that 20 degree uh, here as well with the horizontal right so this angle is 20 and here at this point e we will have uh, two reaction forces right so we will have uh, let's say that here we will have that uh, e x reaction and here we will have e y reaction this is E X, right? This is E X and this is E Y. And this is that point E. So now if we apply the summation of uh, the forces along X equals to 0. So we have to resolve this 981 Newton force into its components, right? So it will have one component in this direction. This one will be the cos component, right? So as we can see that this E X is acting in the positive X direction. And this cos component is acting in the negative x direction, so I will write minus, and this will be 981 cos of 20 degrees, right? So this means that Ex is equal to the cos component of this, right? So this will be 981 cos of 20. So this is 921.84, right? So Ex is equal to 921.84 newtons. Similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0, right, for this free body diagram, so as we can see that this Ey is acting in the positive y direction, right, this is our positive x and y direction, right. So this Ey is acting in the positive y direction and this sign component is acting in the negative y direction, so I will write minus and this is 981 sine of 20 degrees and this weight is also or this tension is also acting in the negative y direction so i will write minus 981 and this will be equal to zero or we can say that ey is equal to the summation of both of these right so this will become positive so we can write that 981 sine of 20 plus 981 so this is equal to ey is equal to 1316.52 so ey equals to 1316.52 newtons. Next, we will consider this uh, CD member of this frame, right? So, CD member is that beam, right? So, let me write that this is that CD member, right? So, now if I draw the free body diagram for this, right? So, we will have this as a free body diagram, right? Here we will have that EX and EY. Of course, this is that point E, right? So, this is that point E. So we will have that EX force in the opposite direction. This is that EX force. And these are the, this EX and EY forces are the forces on this CD member, right? So they will be acting in the opposite direction, right? And similarly, we will have that EY force which will be acting in the downward direction, right? Since it is acting here in the upward direction, so it will be acting in the downward direction here. So this is that EY force. Similarly, here we have that uh, D point. This is that D point, right? As this BD member is a two force member, so as we can see that uh, if 
if there is moment in this direction that is in the counter clockwise direction so what will happen is that this bd member will apply the force on this cd member in this direction that is towards d right so let me represent the, that force right so we will have that force which will be acting in this direction on this cd member right so let's say that this is that bd member force right and similarly at this point c we will have two reaction forces right this is that point c so we will have this cx force and we will have this cy force which will be acting vertically upward and we have to find this angle theta this bd member is making some angle theta here right so we have to find this we can find this theta if we consider this bcd triangle right so if i apply tan theta so tan theta will be equal to this length this bc length which is 0.65 plus 0.5 divided by this base which is 1 meter right so we can say that if we, if we take 10 inverse so this will be theta will be equal to 10 inverse 0.65 plus 0.5 right so we can find this angle this is uh, 10 inverse 0.65 plus 0.5 so this theta is approximately 49 degrees right so this is 49 degrees so this BD member is making a uh, 49 degrees with the horizontal, right? So now if I resolve this BD member into its components, so it will have one component will be acting in this direction and it will have one component will be acting uh, vertically upward. This one is the cos component, this one is the sine component, right? So now if we apply the summation of moment about point C equals to zero, right? So as we can see, we know the magnitude of this EX which is 921.84 Newtons and this is 1316.52 Newtons. So now if we apply the summation of moment about point C, so as we can see that this component is passing to that point C. So it will not produce the moment about that point C. So this component which is the sine component, this is BD sine of 49 degree. This sine component is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point C. So I will write plus BD sine of 49 degrees and the perpendicular distance of this sine component from that point C is 1 meter. This is given, right? So here we have that sine component. So we will multiply this with 1. Now as we can see that this E X is producing the clockwise moment about that point C. So we will write minus. This is minus E X. E X is 921.84. And the perpendicular distance of this EX from that point C is this 0.6 meter distance, right? So I will multiply this with 0.6, right? And similarly, this EY is also producing the clockwise moment about that point C. So I will write minus EY magnitude is 1316.52. And the perpendicular distance of this EY from that point C is 3 meters, right? This 2 plus 1, right? So we will multiply this with 3, and this is equal to 0. And if we bring these two terms to the other side of the equation, so they will become positive. So we will be left with this equation. And if we uh, divide both sides of the equation by sine of 49, so that will give us the BD member force, right? This is divided by sine of 49. So this will give us that BD member force, which is a two force member. So this BD member force is equal to uh, 5966.09. So 5966.09 Newton. Now if we consider this crank uh, or equilibrium, right? So if, if this crank applies the uh, BD force on this BD member in this direction, so this BD member will apply the same force in the opposite direction on this crank, right? So if we consider this crank, Right, so let's say that I represent that crank by just uh, this vertical line since the crank is vertical, right? So this is uh, the crank, right? This is point A and this is that point B. So that BD member will apply the force on this crank in the in this direction, right? Like this. So this is that same BD force and its magnitude is now known, which is 5966.09 newton. And here we have that moment at this point A. So now if we consider this crank for equilibrium, 
So if we apply the summation of moment about point E equals to zero, so as we can see that this moment M is counterclockwise moment, so I will write M. And this BD force will make that same angle here. If this angle is theta, so then it will making that same angle, uh, 49 degree angle here with the horizontal, right? So if we resolve this uh, BD force into its components, so it will have two components. It will have one component should be acting in this direction and it will have one component should be acting in this direction. So this component is passing through that point A, so it will not produce the moment about that point A. So only this cast component is producing the moment about that point A and it is producing clockwise moment. So I will write minus, this is 5966.09 cos of 49 degrees and the perpendicular distance of this cast component from that point A is the length of this, uh, the distance between this point A and B which is 0.5. So I will multiply this with 0.5 and this will be equal to 0. Or uh, we can say that the moment is equal to this thing, right? So we can find that moment which is required. So this is we can say that it is answer cos of 49 multiplied by 0.5. That moment is equal to 1957 Newton meter, right? So let me write that this moment is approximately 1957 Newton meter. So here at this crank, uh, 1957 newton meter moment is required in the uh, counterclockwise direction in order to hold this beam in the horizontal position so i hope you people would have understood uh, the solution of this particular problem if you people think that uh, these solutions helps in your learning so kindly like my videos and also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed my channel yet